Yo, what's good? It's your boy DJ Fat Mac. We're back at you with another wedding DJ tip on how to plan a perfect wedding party. Today, we're talking about the music. It's all about the music. We're gonna talk about a few different things on how to plan your perfect wedding party, your reception music, also anything to do with cocktail hour, dinner, and also, of course, the ceremony. So we're gonna jump into that. So make sure you hit that like button and we're gonna get it in. Let's go. Yo, thank you. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time, make sure you hit that like button, that subscribe button, and also hit that notification bell so you can get notified of any new videos that's coming out. Like I said before, it's all about the music today on how to plan a perfect wedding party, okay? So today we're gonna talk about a few different things. We're gonna jump into how to format your everything for the ceremony, from the ceremony to the cocktail hour from the cocktail hour to of course to the dinner and from the dinner, the one grandioso thing of everything, of all of it, all! Because what we came to do is the party, is the reception opening dancing music, okay? We wanna talk about how do you plan that out, how do you make sure everything runs smoothly, and of course, how can your wedding planner, how can your DJ, how can an event staff help you be have a better wedding day party, okay? So this is what we're gonna jump into. First, of course, we're gonna talk about the ceremony. The ceremony is probably the most elegant part of your whole day, to be honest with you, because that's where everybody really comes out to celebrate the joy, to celebrate the spirit of everything that's going on between you and your future husband or your future wife right so the thing we're going to talk about is exactly how do you pick the music how do you format the music and everything of course we're going to start off with the prelude the prelude is just the music as people coming in and it's usually maybe about 30 45 minutes especially if you're running on time and things like that just of music just kind of background music People may be paying attention, then they may not be paying attention to it. It's type of music that you may do a little bit of jazz or a little bit of, even if you're kind of going back old school, like things like the Rat Pack and, you know, like Frank Sinatra, things like that. Just something real smooth, mellowed out, you know, nice love songs, you know, to get everybody in the mood. We're here for love. We're here for a perfect day for our couple, whether it's a family member, friend, whatever the case may be, okay? Um, and then of course, you kind of jump into some of the entrances. So whether you're gonna have some parents, grandparents, uh, or it's just gonna be the, the, the groom and potentially the officiant or something like that and the best man or whatever the case may be. It depends on, you know, the dynamics of everything, okay? So, after that, and, and now nowadays, usually the groom just usually kind of just come off to the side. They want to be highlighted too. They say, this is my special day also. They want to be highlighted too. So they may come out to a song of their own, which is awesome. And then, of course, that's when all the, the wedding party comes in. So that's a separate song. A lot of people don't realize that, but that's a separate song. And after the wedding party comes in, you may have a ring bearer, you may have a flower girl and things like that. And I always tell people, choose a separate song for the ring bearer and the flower girls to come down into that's from the wedding party. The reason why, because we necessarily don't know how long that wedding party is going to take and things like that. It might take up a whole song where it might take anywhere between three and five minutes. To loop a song and to do a song over, it can be done. It's cool. But I like to, the whole ambiance of everything, of everything is separate. And you're setting everybody on an emotional path, on a musical pathway to get to a journey. So that's why I say use a separate song. Think of a separate song all the time. 
from there, of course, you're going to have the wedding march, which is the beautiful uh, wedding march as the bride's coming down the aisle and things like that, okay? And then you may have a unity can uh, candles ceremony or, you know, uh, where they're doing sand ceremonies and things like that. Have a short, you know, pick out a song for that because Day of Silence is the worst at weddings. That's the biggest part. No dead silence. I don't like dead silence. I don't, you know, it's very uncomfortable for everyone is to have dead silence, okay? Uh, of course, moving from there, usually have the recessional song. Recessional song is something that's very upbeat. Like something like celebrate, uh, you know, like celebration or anything from sign, seal, and deliver, you know, uh, or marry you by Bruno Mars or something like that, you know. So, uh, you definitely want to have something like that, okay? So, that is the ceremony. Two, we're going to hop into the cocktail hour. Cocktail hour can be so many different ways. I'm not gonna lie, I used to do a lot of jazz back then, you know, just do a uh, playlist of jazz or whatever the case may be. But now I think it's very important for the DJ to spin at the cocktail hour, if they can. If it's happen to be in the same room as a ceremony and they have uh, their DJ system set up with their turntables, controller, whatever the case may be, laptop, depends on what type of DJ it is. Uh, I think the DJ should play music instead of just having a playlist set. The reason why, because you're setting the mood on how dope this party should be. You may start off kind of smooth a little bit, maybe a little bit of jazz and things like that, but you want to kind of end that up on a high note where people kind of bobbing their head like, yeah, this is it. Because they got a few cocktails in them and things like that, you know, at that point. Or at that point, you know, of course, they've been having hors d'oeuvres, so they feeling good. They was like, oh, it wasn't such a beautiful wedding. Oh, did you see his tux? Did you see the little cute uh, bride, um, bridesmaids and, and flower girls and stuff like that? They, you know, they, they're talking about how dope the ceremony was. And now... With the cocktail hour, you know, they're feeling good. It's getting them in the mood. Once again, as a DJ, you're setting their, their head and their minds into like, we about to party. And that's what it's all about. It's getting to the reception portion of everything and getting that party started after dinner and all that good stuff. So after cocktail hour is over, of course, you're gonna have the grand announcements and da da da. But we're talking about the dinner music. Dinner music is kind of like the cocktail hour. It kind of long going on the same path. A lot of love songs, you know, that's like an ode to the couple and things like that. It's an ode to them. Like, hey, we, we're here once again to celebrate your love and your passion for each other and maybe even setting the mood for later on. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, the honeymoon night, baby. Yeah. Get it in. Yes, sir. So, after that, uh, so during the dinner, of course, you have that going on. But as you can kind of see, people, like the last tables are being served or whatever the case may be. That's when you kind of want to kick it up a notch. You know, when I say like more of that head bobbing, everybody's listening to them classic songs that you're playing. And that's why I think the dinner music should be all about. A lot of classic love songs. Let's be honest with you. Nowadays, people are not making love songs. They making songs about just sexing. Just sexing. Which is cool. Don't get me wrong, but love songs, you know, some throwbacks, some new edition, some uh, some Tony, 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 uh, even, you know, some old Frank Sinatra. He got L is for the way you look at me. Sinatra, he got some cuts. I'm telling you, you know, some even some Tim McGraw, you know, when you want to go into the country realm, you know, some old throwback love songs you know that's for everybody to enjoy you know and sing along to that they remember from back when they was growing up or whatever the case may be okay 
uh and then like i said kind of boost that up a little bit maybe playing some some motown some temptations and things like that everybody's singing along like ah oh, yeah i remember that you kind of getting the groove going setting up you know you setting the tone for the party because that's where it's all about it's about the party baby it's about the party right so that's all music that you and the both of the couple will choose together now it comes down to the third thing it comes down to the opening dancing portion which what everybody came for they came for the dancing and they came from the open bar <laughs> and of course they came for the love of the couple but end of the day by the time they finished they was like man that party was great and that dj was off the chain you know, so at the, so how you approach that is that you pick all music that's danceable. That's my opinion. All music that's danceable. All songs may be great songs, but they're not danceable songs. You want to pick songs that everybody's up on the dance floor dancing to. Okay. Whether even if it is a few slow songs, but it's a danceable slow song or if it's a high energy um top 40 song was a high energy country song was a high energy you know edm of course rap or r&b those type of songs that you want to choose so everybody can be up on the dance floor all at the same time that's the key to it so those are the songs you want to choose even if it's some old school mixed with some new school things like that because you want to satisfy everybody to be honest with you yes you still have some elders there that still like to get down they don't want to be you know the in the sense ratchet the whole night you don't want to be ratchet the whole night you don't want to listen to cardi b and megan the stallion and little baby Wet and gushy, make that pull out game weak. And all these other rappers and all that things all night. You want to do something a little bit more diverse for everybody to listen to. You might even if you have some of your some some people there that's from work or whatever the case may be, or you may have like I said your elders there. You may want to throw a little bit of you know I ain't saying slides. Slides are getting kind of played out, but you know, a lot of people still in the Midwest love slides, which is cool because in the Midwest, they love slides. I don't like to play slides all night or back to back to back to back to back. You throw one here in, another one there, and then kind of max that out to be totally honest with you. But the dancing portion, that's when you want everybody to start letting their hair down, you know, changing out their shoes and things like that. That's the most important part of all of this. And so choosing the music for that, got to be very technical with it, in my opinion. And that's where DJs come in and help you out, filling those blanks for you and things like that. You know, throwing some old school classics mixed with some new school that everybody can sit back and relax and enjoy. Because the thing about it, when you picking out the music and you's like, everybody enjoyed themselves. My auntie, my uncle still talking about it. Because that means that they enjoy themselves, especially they they heard some of them songs that they grew up on, that they was you know that they was young teenagers and things like that. It sent them back into going back into time for them. So that's the awesome part about all of that. Okay, so I just want to give you some tips on how to plan your music for your perfect wedding day. Okay, so of course. If you always need any help, refer to your DJ. Refer to maybe your wedding planner because we've specialists, we've been doing this for a long time and we know what works. You don't have to micromanage the whole entire playlist as a party going on. Just trust your DJ and know that it works and know that it works, okay? So cool, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Make sure you hit that like button, comment down below on some of the songs that you love listening to at weddings and also some of the songs that you just over listening to at weddings and things like that. Also, any new videos that you want to see dropped and that we can do a video on for you, all right? Also, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Yes, if it's your first time here, make sure you subscribe to the channel or thank you for coming back 
once again and kicking it with us. Make sure you hit that notification bell. Can't forget to hit that notification bell so when any new videos drop, you're the first one to see it and comment and like on it, okay? So, and to the meantime, between time, keep them records spinning and always remember, music is life, life is music. It's your boy. Peace.